The combination of ipilimumab and nivolumab has been controversial since the first report two years ago. It gained regulatory approval based on the response rate and progression-free survival with the assumption that, that would translate to overall survival. So now we do have validation that there is an improvement in overall survival, but the same arguments that were in play previously are still in play, meaning you get an improvement, but does that improvement really justify the extreme increase in toxicity that we see relative to PD-1 monotherapy? And uh, different doctors have different opinions about that. Some people say, you know, kitchen sink approach all the time. The, you know, the, the best we can go after the tumor, absolutely have to do that. Uh, our group tends to take a little bit more nuanced approach to say, how do we maximize benefit and minimize toxicity? And in that vein, we've been very interested in the IDO combinations. Again, with the idea that maybe we can lead in with a PD-1-based combination with high efficacy, low toxicity. And should we see that, unfortunately, a patient progresses through that regimen, maybe then we use a CTLA-4 or ipilimumab-based regimen, again, hopefully in a combination as a second line regimen. In this way, patients get both PD-1 and CTLA-4 blockade, but they maybe get it in sequence so as to avoid the potential toxicities associated with the ipilimumab. But again, other doctors are gonna have a difference of opinion. Some are gonna say, just hit them as hard as possible up front to try to do your maximum. Uh, but I think this is an evolving area. I think that the data being presented for Checkmate 67 about overall survival validates the approval of that regimen, because certainly there are patients that, can, that benefit from getting the combination up front. In my practice, those tend to be brain metastases, rapid progression, high LDH. Patients where probably you're not going to get the chance to give both drugs in sequence. So you really have to give them up front together. Uh, but for most patients, I would say that it's an open question about what the optimal upfront combination versus sequential use of these drugs is.